Hey everyone, it's Andrea, and in this video we are talking about how to create a large banner style um, Facebook um, picture like this one for either your personal page or for your fan page. Um, now I use this particular banner both for my personal page and for my fan page, um, so the process is identical. Now the only tool that you're going to need to do this is uh, Microsoft PowerPoint. So this is the video for the do-it-yourselfers who have access to PowerPoint and want to create their own banner. Um, if you'd like to outsource this, you can also just send this video to um, you know, a, a high school student or a tech-savvy person in your family. And if you want to completely outsource it, um, I highly recommend um, scriptlance.com as a place to get kind of odd jobs um, done. So with that, let's get right into it. So, um, we're using Microsoft PowerPoint. Now the two things you need to know are that um, the banner needs to be exactly 200 by 600 pixels, uh, which if you convert it into inches is 2.67 by 8 inches. So we're going to start off by just drawing a frame um, to hold our banner. So here's a rectangle um, and then I'm going to go to Format and over here you should see the, um, the height width settings. So I'm going to type in 8 for the height and 2.67 for the width. Okay? So that is my exact frame um, that I need for my banner. Um, and at this point I might choose um, a background color for it. So I'm, say I make it light green. Um, and you can choose to have um, a border or no border. Maybe I'll just do kind of an accented um, darker green as a border. Okay, there we go. So this will be um, the size of the finished um, Facebook banner, and this is really now your canvas um, to work with. So the first thing that I might want to do is insert a picture. Um, now the picture can be um, a photograph of you, it could be a logo for your business, um, it could be a variety of different things. Um, the picture that I'm going to use here is a picture um, called Andrea Clear where I've already removed the background. Um, and if you'd like to learn how to remove the background out of an image, I'd encourage you to just Google that um, or look in, Yacht, in uh, YouTube for you know, how to take the background out of an image. So right now I'm just kind of resizing the image so that it's going to fit inside of the frame. And let me go with right about there is where I want it. Okay. So one thing you'll notice is that the image actually extends outside of the frame, so I do need to crop off this portion. So I'm going to hit crop, and I need to bring the cropping down inside the frame for the side and for the top. Okay, that looks pretty good. Um, now the banner that I have on the website is pretty simple. Um, it's got my website URL up here on the top, so I'm just going to create a text box, andrewcrop.com. And the best way to center these is to actually make the box go all the way across and then hit center. And maybe I'll do bold and maybe I'll um, increase the font size a little bit. There we go. Um, and then the other thing that I have in my um, profile picture here are these check marks. And the check marks actually just came from um, a Google image search. So I'm going to do. Um, google.com and I might search for something um, go over here to images and search for something like green check mark search the images um, and you're going to get all kinds of ones to choose from now some of these are going to have um, white backgrounds and some will have clear backgrounds and you won't really know that until after you test some of them out so I'm going to just try this first one. Um, I'm going to right click and do save image as. And I'm just going to put it on the desktop um, and call it check mark. Save. So I can come back over here to um, PowerPoint and do insert picture. Um, go to the desktop look for the check mark. All right, so this one happens to have a white background um, and that's okay. We'll just uh, work with that for now. Um, 
Okay, so I'm going to um, create a couple more check marks by doing copy and then paste um, and then right click and paste again. And then the best way to kind of line these things up is um, just to kind of put the top one and the bottom one where you want them. Hold down shift, highlight all of them, and do arrange, align, align left. And then again, arrange, align, and distribute vertically. So now they are um, vertically distributed. And I could put some text next to each one. So I'll just, in the interest of time, call it, you know, bullet number one. <laughs> I think it's spelled bullet. I need to fix that. Bullet number one. Okay, and I need to keep this inside the frame. And so I'm going to here uh, right click, copy, and paste that two more times. Paste and paste. Um, bring this one down here. Call it bullet number three. Bring this one over here. Call it bullet number um, two. Um, and now again, I can distribute and align these. So I select all of them, do arrange, align, left. And that looks good. And then arrange, align, um, distribute vertically. Okay, so this might be kind of the basic framework for the entire Facebook banner. So now what? Um, the next thing you need to do is highlight the entire thing and group it together. We're going to do arrange and group. Okay. Um, now this whole thing is one unit and it cannot be um, separated. Okay. So I can move it around as a unit. And now I can right click on it and choose uh, Save as Picture. And I'm just going to put this on the desktop. And you're going to want to choose um, JPEG as your file format. Um, and I'll call it Facebook uh, Sample and Save. All right. So now it's time to come over to um, your Facebook page and hit um, Change Picture. And I'm going to upload a picture. Um, let's go find that on the computer desktop. Um, there it is, FB Sample. And there's the new banner. All right. Um, so the very last thing I want to talk about is um, what to do in case your face is getting um, cut off funny when you actually do um, posting. So let me show you what I mean. So I'm going to do a test post. Um, okay, so that that's not bad. It's kind of cutting me off right there at the hairline. Um, but say that you wanted to frame this a little bit differently. Um, I'm going to stop the video here and then pick it up again and show you quickly kind of how to uh, reframe this if you need to. All right, see you on the next video.